Hello, ballers! What's going on? It's Preacher. We have the patch notes, don't we? For the PTR 7.15, the mini patch, which includes the Brawlers Guild and all that good shit. And Boat Day seems to have changed. No, it's a boat race now, which I'm kind of okay with. Uh, that's absolutely fine. But what's come along with this? Of course, the first wave of class updates that Blizzard was talking about at BlizzCon. They don't want to change the working of the class. Reworking was a word they didn't want to use. What they did want to address, though, is things like talents, which are are mandatory, therefore they maybe should be baseline, and also the inclusion, which I was surprised by that they're doing it this early, while legendaries are still a very sore spot with the community, is adding in the next wave of legendaries, which no doubt will get multiple waves over the course of the expansion. So we've got a number of things to hit here. Uh, I'm not really going to talk about the additional content. We've already talked about that at BlizzCon. But I do want to talk about, one, the first round of spell changes, as many are seeing this as a pretty disastrous situation. And questions are being asked exactly, what are they balancing around these days? We just can't seem to work it out. Um, I can tell you from a Fire Mage perspective, I'm mostly a little disappointed. I see what they're going for, which is that Fire Mages currently, if you're not aware, do the most substantial amount of possible damage that a Fire Mage can do during the 10 second combustion window. So they don't like that because it means our damage in between combustion is super, super lame and they want to balance it out. And no, ever since the recent nerfs, Fire Mages certainly aren't the cream of the crop, despite the community still latching onto that cry. But what we have seen, and this happened to a number of specs, which is what I can talk about, is changes that appear to be fixes to PvP, and therefore they're affecting everybody because they're taking place in the talent tree that is for everybody and not the PvP talent tree. Oh dear, this problem still exists. Now, on this subject, one, is it not time that we just have our own PvE talent tree? Can we not do that now instead of having these ridiculous changes that changing stuff that for the whole class because it's a problem in PvP is something that was obviously an issue in the past for the PvPers so they gave them their own PvP talent tree to choose from. That made a lot of sense but we're still having this problem on the other side of the coin which is no good. It's really no good to take away some fundamental gameplay. I'm not talking about damage tweaks here buffing and nerfing a particular spell to do less or more damage. I'm talking about fundamental gameplay changes here. These are the things that we enjoy playing on our spec and they're getting changed potentially, potentially not always just for PvP, but potentially because of an area of the game where many of us don't play. So just as the PvP has asked for their own system where they could adjust themselves particular to the kind of gameplay they enjoy, for me, it's about time we started looking at things that are, in fact, for PvE. I recently brought up on the final boss interview with myself, Ghosty, Noble, and Bay. is what are we actually getting from the talent tree these days? And there is some really fundamental gameplay tied in there as long as some fluff that just has no choice along with it. The talent system, the base one, not the PvP one, I don't want to put my nose into that. Uh, I'm not educated enough to talk about that stuff but i certainly can say at the base level for most talent systems is you have a, just a choice of mandatory talents or nothing at all and that's about it which is no good if they were separated into pve and pvp talent trees separately we might get better of course that would mean a number of spells need to be baked into the class that's fine that's fine and dandy i have no issue with that what i don't want to see anymore in this day and age is one talent tree getting changed in order to appease people who already have another talent tree i don't think that's working too well and certainly as the outcries of rerolls come in, which we'll talk about in a second, it's understandable. It's understandable because these are bigger nerfs than I think most people care about. The vast majority of the community <clears throat> looks at things like spell changes and coefficient changes to figure out whether things are a nerf or a buff and they're not really sure sometimes. They have to run it through sims and they have to run various, various other things to figure out whether or not they've been nerfed or buffed. For me, uh, as knowing uh, knowing how the game works in like reality outside of Sims and stuff, can tell you that things like an Ice Flows change, which is my ability to cast on the move, is an enormous nerf. Holy shit. That is a crushing nerf for many, many, many encounters. And I don't see it as a problem. Maybe it's a problem in PvE. Could, in fact, be something due to that balancing. I'm not saying it's all for PvP. From my perspective and from what I'm being told and from what I'm reading all over the place, it is, in fact, because of the PvP world. So, as you can imagine, I'm not exactly too impressed with that. And it's the same for other classes. I'm just using my own class as an example. Am I salty about it? Not particularly. As a mage, I'm fine. I can respec. It's not a big deal. Like, our AP knowledge is so high now. I don't really care that much, honestly. But for to, I just general think it's time that we maybe looked at some other system where the PvE world 
and the PvP world, if they are, and they obviously are, as they do have their own talent system, are to be kept separate, then they shouldn't have an effect on each other. I think it's about time, and I think this patch kind of highlights that for many classes who are seeing a similar result to what I'm seeing on my mage. On to the idea of you getting crushed into the ground. So lots and lots of people very, very disheartened with the patch notes. Not something people were like, oh, I hope I'm getting super buffed. Some classes did get buffed. But moreover, a lot of classes are getting nerfed. They're getting rebalanced or reworked. Now, nerf can be a different word because it sounds like you're getting less damage. For what I can tell, in a lot of cases, they're trying to make the damage more balanced. Yes, there are nerfs and yes, there are buffs. No one's going to contend that. But if we look at various classes, they're actually trying to balance the damages so it's not always coming from one particular source. Although Assassination seems to be putting more into Rupture, which is just fucking baffling to me. Uh, that we'll see, what, like 65, 70% I'm, I'm hearing? Uh, damage from rupture just for assassination that's a lot of damage to put into one ability uh, let's hope somebody doesn't fuck that up similar with the shadow priests of course they're trying to get people to not spec into surrender to madness who have the choice surrender to madness is an interesting one because there's an enormous gulf because it's such a skill-based talent and you have to ask the questions for the guys who are really, really struggling, you're seeing maybe a 200 to 300k DPS difference between guys who can use Surrender to Madness properly and those who can. So at the same time, you're seeing Shadow Priest dominate various fights in the current raiding tier, while Shadow Priest lower down the list are actually doing very, very, very poorly and not being able to pull off good Surrender to Madnesses. Now, that is a problem, and Blizzard has been against that since Cataclysm, is to have the skill gulf to be that big. They don't want it to be that wide in any way. So in that respect, regardless of damage, Surrender to Madness presents a huge issue. Are they going to route it about it in the right way? Seemingly not to me, because again, this goes against the deal. They're touching gameplay. They're fucking around with gameplay. And that's not something anybody wants at this stage of the game. After so much AP investing and stuff, I'm happy with my gameplay. Tweak my numbers, fine, that's okay. But leave my fucking gameplay alone. That's the deal we made with the artifact weapons. And once again, they've gone against it. So what I would say for those of you who are very worried is one, don't just sit on a forum and scream and fucking shout. I'll leave a comment even on my video saying this is bullshit. That's no good. No one gives a shit about that. What you do want to do though is get your ass on the fucking PTR as I will be doing. It's totally free. It's absolutely free to do so, okay? So if you are 100% tied in Legion right now, that's fine. But if you want your voice to be heard, first and foremost, go and fucking test it. Go and test it out first. That's what you want to do. You want to actually have some basis. What you don't want to be is that guy that we saw several times in beta who was complaining about things like Surrender to Madness because he was cr trying to level with it and didn't understand that you couldn't be combat res. He was like, this is bullshit trying to rely on a combat res every time I use that ability. And you're just like, dude, no. Man, you just look like a dick. Blizzard's not going to take you seriously because you obviously didn't try it or read the tooltip. You just clicked it, died, and then thought you'd go on a forum and fucking whine. Don't do that. This is why Blizzard struggles so much with the sheer amount of bullshit that comes from players. They do struggle a lot. But what we have seen, like we saw in the last PTR, and we did see this is that they are listening. They do listen to PTR feedback and you need to scream and shout on there. You need to get forum threads going so they, they listen and they do do it. Does it always work? No, but don't be a pessimist. Don't be a pessimist saying, I'm not going to do it because nothing will happen. That's terrible. That's really, really bad. If you have no voice, you can't complain about not being heard. If you did scream and shout and didn't get heard, sure, then you can fucking complain about it. But please get on the PTR and test it. Make sure you've got a good basis for your knowledge. The legendaries, so as I said in the beginning of the video, really surprised they fucking are releasing these now. Legendaries are such a huge sore spot, and we know it's a sore spot for them as well, because they didn't want to talk about it at BlizzCon. They wanted to ignore the fucking legendary system. And of course... The big problem is once they add more into them, it once again dilutes the pool even further, meaning the ones that are really good, and they're always, always going to be ones that are significantly better than others, that is always going to be the case, because that's just how the game works. This further dilutes your chances if you haven't already got those, and congratulations to those who do have their best in slot ones, but this further dilutes the pool and your chance of getting the ones you really, really want becomes less and less and less and less and less. Along with those of you who have your best in slot now, but might be playing a spec that looks like it's probably going to have to respec soon, 
you might have a lot of things that are fucking not useful at all. <laughs> not useful at all. What we can see is that they've tried to fix the really bad ones. Okay, the really bad ones. So that would be Pridas or Pridas, whatever you want to call it. They've tried to make that work in some way so that it's not super terrible for others. Similar with the ring, they've given you more opportunities to use that. They're trying to make the really bad ones better. I think that's a good, good start that we've got that going on. But there's no doubt we are diluting the pool even further and getting that one you really want, especially if you haven't got one yet. And it's there are still plenty of people who don't even have one yet, which is really fucking sad. Um, if you don't have one yet, they are, you might feel like you're further away. Because what I'm not seeing here, and at BlizzCon, they admitted they did not have any idea how they were going to do it, is a way of targeting the legendaries you want are increasing or making the system less fucking complete RNG. I think it's pretty much accepted now by most of the community that the bad luck protection that we've been hearing about either just flat out don't, doesn't exist and or we just don't have any idea how the fucking thing is supposed to be working because it doesn't seem to be working for many, many players. So whether or not it just flat out doesn't exist, I'm not going to say it doesn't. It might do in some form. Do we know how it works? No, <laughs> not in the fucking least. Several people I know now have five legendaries while there's others with zero. Roll an alt and you're probably going to get one in your first couple of boxes like I did, while your main might be sat with none at all. That's entirely possible. So whatever the system is seems very, very wonky to say the least. I will say some of these legendaries look really fun though. Some of them look very, very cool. I'll be interested to play around with them and hopefully I can get access to them on the PTR and play around with them and maybe show you some of that as well. That'd be very cool. The legendaries are a sore spot, but this is the first round of patches. So there's a big conflict that comes out from this. And one is people overly telling you, don't worry about it. Don't lose the sky. Blizzard will fix it, blah, blah, blah. And people saying, screaming and shouting that I'm re-rolling instantly. There's a middle ground to be found there. There's a middle ground to be found there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on the PTR. I'm going to try and test out as many classes as I can. Uh, give some feedback on those. Maybe stuff that you can help if you don't have time. Because accessing the PTR on top of everything else you have to do in Legion is not the easiest thing in the fucking world. I'm fully aware of that. But we'll, I'll do my best to get something out for you for most of the classes. Alright guys, so I'm going to be working on that over the next week or so. Thank you so much for listening. Take it easy and leave your feedback below. Bye bye.